Hey buddy, this is Matthew Rathbun and uh, welcome to my YouTube channel. I hope you will subscribe to get more information as I do tend to put out a lot of content and video uh, to help you do your business better. One of the things that I have uh, really enjoyed over the years is putting together different tools to create something awesome. And in this video, we're going to talk about using the Realtor Property Resource Data, RPR, to uh, build really noteworthy market reports or any type of reports that you want using Canva to make them look even fresher and cooler and then embedding it on our website using tools found in the Canva uh, list of tools and resources. So uh, uh, follow along. I hope that you will enjoy this video. And if you have any questions, don't forget to leave a comment down below or reach out to me. And uh, well, let's just get started. Okay, so what we're going to be working on here is getting a PDF of any type, but in this case, the Realtor Property Resource Market Statistic Report and embedding it on our website. So here's my website, and I'm going to show you the end result first. And here is a nice cover. This is just for training. I would certainly do better than this um, if I were actually creating um, a book for the consumer, but I wanted to show you the steps here and it would let me create a page that not only lets me flip through the report and kind of sound and feel like a magazine, but also embed a YouTube video explaining the report if I were inclined to make one. And so I'm going to start here in RPR. So I'm going to go to RPR. I'm going to go to market. Uh, I'm sorry. I'm still going to go reports, market activity reports. And in this case, I've already done a search for my zip code for my hometown here in Fredericksburg, Virginia. And then I'm gonna go down here to market activity reports. And then that's the report I want. And I'm gonna hit run report. Now over here to ask you what you want. Like I don't need fax number, it's 2022, almost 2023 in a couple of weeks. So no one's looking at a fax number. Um, and I, this is just a lot of stuff. This will give you a kind of a preview of what your report will look like. And I'm gonna hit run report. And it's going to just cook for a couple seconds and download the report. In the interim, I'm going to go to Canva. And I am, once that report is run, it'll download as PDF. So I'm going to go over here to upload, the top right-hand corner. I'm going to browse for that report, find that re the activity report that I want. And then it's going to upload the report. And when I go down and scroll down a little bit here, you can see that it is cooking. It is creating that report. So I'm going to go and click on that report. Now, when you in, uh, bring in a PDF to your Canva um, uh, system, it automatically, this is so cool, it automatically makes it editable. So if I want to change things, if I want to, let's say I don't like this particular headshot that I have in RPR, I'm going to click on delete and it's going to ask me to delete the frame or the image. And if you're familiar with Canva, you know, the frame is the holder or the image is the picture inside the holder. So I'm going to get rid of that. I want to put my newer headshot in there. So I'm going to go over here and drag that over into the holder and now replace that. And I want my company logo to be over here and I don't really need two of them. Um, so I'm going to get rid of that one. Um, and this is kind of a mess. So I'm just going to delete that to make it look nice and clean. Or I can go ahead and just duplicate the page, delete all of this and go to town making a new page. Now, there are other tutorials and things out there about how this works, so I am not gonna spend a lot of time uh, making like super fancy, awesome cover sheet, but you could, and there's templates you can embed and other things you, you can do. Um, again, those are in other videos and other training um, and tutorials, so I'm going to just scroll down here and look for something. These are some pictures I took of my hometown, so I'm going to go ahead and add this in here and then bring over a headshot, maybe a company logo, and just whatever you want to do or add to spruce it up. And again, you can add additional pages. Um, You can bring in different pages and things. I'm doing it quickly so you can kind of see, I can just start creating a better cover sheet. I, I just, this cover sheet is okay. It's not my favorite and it looks like everybody else's. And then I can see what numbers and statistics are here. And I want to, and you'll see why in a minute, I'm gonna 
add another page here. I'm just going to add a blank page here. And I'm going to add a new header. Or maybe something more like, let's do this one. All right. And you're going to see why I'm leaving this page blank later. All right. And so I've got these pages. I can click down here in grid view and can look and see what I have. All right. So this extra page I'm going to get rid of. I don't need it. This page explaining what RPR is and the data came from. Don't really need that. Maybe I want to add a page here and I can embed or upload a different page or bring a page in from somewhere. Like my resume would be really good to put in here in case they're interested. A call to action, a sign up for my newsletter, something in there. And so I'm just going to clean this up a little bit. Now, again, I can go any one of these pages. I can add, move, delete things here. So I'm going to go back from there to this and go, okay, I don't really want this section of data. And again, I'm just playing with this now. So you can edit it, this report however you want using that RPR data. When I'm done with this report, I'm going to go click on share and I'm going to click on more. Now, um, I'm looking for something called Hazine. And so you can scroll down here to where it says design and you'll see Hazine flipbooks. What I'm gonna do is take this PDF that I embedded, I've edited, I've added, made it my own a little bit, and I'm going to import it into Hazine. It's a flipbook. And so I'm gonna click on that button. It's gonna ask me what pages and I want all the pages to be in there. Now there, Hazine is a, there is a free version and there is a premium version and there are certain limitations with free, like fewer pages and some of the fancy stuff you can't do. Um, I don't, I, no one is sponsoring this video. I don't make any money from this. I love Hazine. There's lots of programs out there, uh, Yumpu and Issue and all the rest. I find them more expensive well, easier to manage or harder to manage rather. Uh, Hazine is very easy. And because it embeds right in the Canva for me, I, I just love, love, love using this. And so I'm going to go and uh, I'm click on done here because I've selected all my pages, hit save. And now it is taking it from Canva straight to Hazine. So if you don't, um, if you don't have a Hazine account, it's going to walk you through the process of setting one up again and let you have I think it's three to five free digital magazines. After that, it's maybe 50 bucks a year. I find it a, an easy investment to say yes to because I use it for so many things. And um, when it's done uploading your work to Hazine, I'm going to click on the link that says view in Hazine Flipbooks. And so it's still working on creating this. Now, when I go to Hazine, it's, there it is, it's done. Now I have my book here. And you'll notice that it starts you off in edit mode because there's more work to be done. Now, I'm going to go to my YouTube page where I have a video. In this case, I'm just going to pull a bio video, uh, a video, you know, biography video about me as an agent. Uh, but you could and you probably should just record a video explaining this data so they can get more out of it. And I'm going to copy the URL of my video here. I'm going to go back to Hazine. And notice here, I'm looking at it now, and it's this is a little bit like what it's going to look like embedded on the website. You saw this when I started the video. So I can click on these arrows here, and you can see the data I'm flipping through and the report. And again, you're going to want to add your own stuff to it. You can just use some of this data that's already created. But notice that we created that blank page where it just says Meet Matthew. I'm going to go here and click on Interactions and Video, and I'm going to draw a box in my um, uh, PDF and it's gonna ask me to add a link to my video. And when I do, it's going to embed my video. And I'm gonna size it just to make sure it's in there right. It's gonna embed my video in the beginning of this book. Now imagine the consumer who is, um, you know, asking on Facebook, does anybody know what's going on in the market right now? Can anybody help me understand what's going on? You're gonna have now this PDF where you can just quickly add a link to your website from here. So I'm gonna go ahead and click on save. And when I get done, you can notice over here, there's a button that says share. So I'm gonna click on share and it's gonna give me some options. Here's the link where I could just share a link back to Hazine or I could email it or there's a website embed. Now I love this website embed. So I'm gonna go here and I'm gonna click on the copy HTML code. That's all you need to do. Now, when I go to my website, 
I'm going to go in here and I'm going to click on edit. Now, every one of us has different websites that we are working on. And so yours will most likely look different than mine. But what's similar in all of these is when you go in to edit a blog post or website, you can do so um, either visual editing where it has a regular, like you would recognize this from your word processing tool um, in here or text. And in this case, I'm going to take that text that I copied from the Hazine site, and I'm just going to paste it under the text or HTML tag. Now you notice you don't understand and you don't need to understand all the language in here um, to, to make it fit your page. And so you can make some edits about the pixels are the size of something as it's embedded on your website. Uh, I like 800 pixels, which gives you one page at a time. It makes it easier for people to read on your website. You may want to go back to maybe 400 where it's shorter, but you get both pages. So this is what I'm gonna do. Everything else in here, it's just the same. It's just, you just leave it as is, and you could just copy and paste and go. And I'm going to click on check mark. Now, what happens is on my website, and again, yours is different. So you'll need to know how to edit uh, HTML on your website or add HTML rather, not edit it, but add the code on your own website. And every one of your websites, there is a tutorial somewhere where you can Google it, whether you're using Squarespace or WordPress or Moxie, which is WordPress or whatever you're using, you can do the same thing. And then you'll notice that now when a consumer comes to my website, they're going to see this embedded uh, ebook on my website with the pages turn in the very first page there's my video that i can they can click play and see and then they can go to the next page to see the data that collaborates it now for me again i don't like um, using shared space as my primary so in other words um, i if somebody asks me for something i've created content for i'm not going to send them to youtube i'm not going to send them to hazine i'm going to embed that stuff on my website so i can send them to the website. Um, so they'll go to my website and find all the other resources and tools and things that I provided for them. And so uh, it is important to have good content on your website to share to people or share with people uh, in your marketing instead of using rented space and everybody else's thing. Now, those are spokes that bring people to my site, but this is where I'm going to put the data. This is where I'm going to get SEO and all the other things. So that's it. That's the stuff you need. So you'll need RPR, Canva, Hazine, and your website, and you are ready to go. All, almost all of this stuff is already provided for you. RPR is part of your annual dues. Um, Canva, you can use the free version, although I think the, the Canva Pro, which is, I don't know, maybe 150 bucks or something, is well worth the investment in your career because you, you should use it for everything. It's fantastic. For people who are non-designers or non-techie, it's super, super simple. So that's it. If you have any questions, leave them in the comment sections below. Please don't forget to subscribe. And thanks so much for watching.